Hi, I'm Dr. Joni Liu, and welcome to today's show. I'm the founder of Extraordinary Sports Medicine, where we um, help athletes reverse their injuries, get back in the game that they love, and also improve their lives. And so welcome to today's show, and I'm going to be talking about the hidden forces inside you. And specifically, I'm going to be talking about um, the brain, heart, and gut connection. Thank you so much. I love you too. <laughs> and, you know, it's so important because the thing is, is that there's way too much emphasis on the brain. And sure, you know, the brain is a thinking organ. Oh, interesting. Yes. Welcome, India. But the thing is, is that we really need to consider all the other parts in our body, which also contribute a great deal to our thoughts. I mean, the brain itself has got... Uh, some like 100 billion neurons, and it's supposed to be the seat of thinking. The gut is next. It's got 500 million nerve cells and also 100 million neurons. And the heart is the other thing that I want to talk about today. It's got oh, some like 2 billion muscle cells and 40,000 neurons. So it's kind of interesting that the building blocks of uh, the brain, the neurons, the, ner the neuron cells, are also building blocks for the gut and the heart. So it makes you wonder why they're there, okay? It makes you wonder what the real function of a neuron is, because they're not just up here in the brain. They're in our heart and they're in our gut. So what's the function there? Are we missing out on two-thirds of the information that we need to have when we're trying to make a decision? Okay, so that's the important question to ask. Why are all these neurons all over the place? So let's start with the heart. Even though it has, you know, only 40,000 40, neurons, it's really very important. Hello, Marika, nice name. It's very important because the heart actually starts beating at 21 days inside every fetus, and that includes you when you were a fetus. So this is the organ that starts everything, and it oversees the development and growth of the fetus. So think of it. The heart is the first organ to be created and developed in our bodies. What's my name? I'm Dr. Joni Liu. <laughs> And and so it directs the growth and development of the fetus until birth. The brain doesn't even enter into the picture until well into the process. So the heart is directing traffic. It's making sure that, you know, we got everything that we need in order to be born with. And, and it's actually a miracle that 99% of the time that we get everything that we're supposed to have in our human bodies. So it's quite important, okay? So, so what is the point of having all these neurons in these three different parts of the body? Well, it means a lot that each one of these organs, the, uh, the heart, the gut, and the brain, has something to do with us thinking, okay? With all these neurons, they all have something to contribute to when we are thinking. And sure, the most of the emphasis is on the brain, but unfortunately, if we're not listening to our hearts or to our gut, then we are more than likely going to get into trouble because logic has nothing to do with our decision-making. So that's one thing. It's our decision making is always based on emotions and it's always based either on an intuition or on a gut feeling, okay? So the emotions and and the gut feelings come from, well, our gut and from our heart. Bonjour. <laughs> I love you guys. So we have to always be aware of the things that we are feeling as we are making decisions because we're not making decisions based on logic. In fact, we make our decisions all based on our emotional state and the reasons why we feel that way, okay? So once we make a decision, we start rationalizing with our brain, with the thoughts that are in our brain. So we make up the um, 
reasons why we need to make this decision. So it's only afterwards, after the, the brain is guided by the heart and the gut, that's when we finally make the decisions that we need to make. And so if we're going to make decisions based only on the brain, we're probably not going to, we're probably going to be very indecisive. And I really believe that's what happens because people get so involved with the decision-making process that they can't make a decision and they get even more upset because they're not using all their faculties. I mean, let's take, for instance, our senses are all one way or another somehow connected to our brains. The eyes are the only uh, senses that are directly connected to the brain. But, we, uh, but all of our senses are sending signals back to our brain, okay? And so, for instance, when we're looking down the road, okay, with our eyes, so we can see the road, okay, and then all of a sudden it comes to a point, you know, where it, where it um, comes, where the road almost disappears. Well, of course, we know that's an optical illusion. We know that the road actually continues down and it doesn't just end at a point. So our eyes can deceive us. Our ears can deceive us because when we're walking by people, you know, we may not be totally um, uh, focused on what they're saying because we're not. And then we might hear a word or two and, and, it, and we could totally misinterpret what somebody has said. I mean, for example, when I was really young, I remember walking down the street and uh, not thinking about anything in particular, and there was this person, two people that were walking down the street, and they were just talking amongst themselves. They weren't talking to me, and then I heard something that I thought they said something about me. I mean, now, why would I do that? <laughs> and I was and I felt insulted because I thought they were making a racial slur which they weren't they were not doing that but my ears deceived me okay the only thing that we really can trust the force that is inside you are your intuition and your gut and the more you depend on those the more you listen to those the happier you're actually going to be because like I said you're, if you're not already listening to them and paying heed to them, then you're probably missing out on two-thirds of the information that you need when you're making a decision, okay? I mean, for me, I recently had to make a decision. A friend of mine was launching a new product. Uh, she called it a supplement, uh, but it was much more than that. And they were trying to persuade me to get involved with this supplement. I mean, I get... Yeah, you know, asked to do these things all the time. But I really looked more closely at this because she was a friend. And I looked at it, and then I asked myself questions like, because I had my, my other goals, well, is this going to be just a distraction for me? Am I going to be helping somebody else build their business? Am I going to, you know, like the way, because it's a multi-level business, you know, um, like, I knew that I didn't like the way it's done. I don't like inviting people over just to talk about a product and present that to them. I don't really enjoy doing that. Um, and so my, when my friend finally pushed me into having a meeting, you know, inviting everybody over at short notice, all my friends, and having a meeting and presenting the product to them, I said, no. <laughs> So that answered all my questions all at once because I was looking, I was asking questions and I was looking for the right answers to tell me whether uh, I should join or not and that was the final straw. I, I don't enjoy doing that sort of thing and if I had to keep doing that then forget it. I wasn't interested in it at all. So it was push come to shove. She finally gave me the answer that I needed and so I made my decision. And I'm much happier now because I'm focused on what I want to do, okay? So that's the important thing that you have to consider. You've got to, you know what you don't like, and you have a feeling that you don't like it, and you know what you do like, and you have a feeling when you do like it. If it feels good, yes, you do it. But you've got to ask the questions first in order 
to get the answers and then you look for those answers until you get the ones that satisfy you okay if there's any doubt whatsoever you just say no and for me it was a very strong hell no I don't want to do this I'm out of here and it's kind of interesting because I haven't heard from my friends since and it's been uh, several weeks now so oh well I guess that's what happens but that's why the brain the heart and the gut are a trio that you need to use in order to find that hidden force that's inside of you, the force that's going to help you to make much better decisions, to live a better life. You've got to trust yourself. That means trusting your intuition and your gut because your heart and your gut are in this for you, okay? And it guides the brain. Actually, the gut and the heart both send signals are communicating with the brain all the time, and the brain obeys, okay? Which, in Chinese medicine, is the way it's always been, because the brain is actually not considered to be a very important organ in Chinese medicine. The heart is considered to be the most important organ of all the organs in the body. That's how the Chinese med medical people have always looked at it, and now modern medicine is finally validating all the things that we've known for thousands and thousands of years. It's amazing, isn't it? Ancient knowledge, actually, it's not just knowledge, it's wisdom because we apply it, okay? We apply it. <laughs> okay, so again, use your brain in conjunction with your intuition and your gut feelings and you're going to be much happier. Okay, so until next week, I'll see you. And again, if any of your friends or you are suffering from a concussion, please send them over to Amazon to get my book, Heal Your Concussion, How to Quickly and Effectively Get Back in the Game. Okay? Awesome. So long until next week. Bye.